lot of people following I know.
stretching out the gap. Steve Corbank sneaking underneath Jason Peck as they go down into turn number three. Working away off the turn for the race leader, Gary Malone. Oh! Up against the wall. Jason Peck, 
an early retiree from this one after contact with the outside wall in the west end in the very early going. So Pierre Stock feature making its way up onto the speedway now. Looks like we've got five cars slated to go. up on the speedway again and going from the inside of row number one in car number 62 that is going to be Rocco Procopio so Rocco Procopio in the inside of row number one up the outside of him in car number 009 that is Chris Brown so Procopio and Brown in row number one back there in row number two be Dom Denu in car number 145 Tom Denu on the inside of row number two. And up to the outside of him, car number 35 is Dylan Facini. All alone back there in row number three, fifth and final starter in the 010 car. That is Ryan Brown. So five cars looking to go 10 laps here for the Pure Stock feature event. Beginning our 2022 Eve of Destruction. We will see how the raceway continues to take surface, excuse me, take shape here over the next 10 laps to see if the outside lane comes in a little bit for these pierced out competitors as the bottom of place to be in that four cylinder feature. But we'll see who will be the first to test the waters up in that greasy outside lane. Looking to go green flag racing this time at a turn number four, the paint truck down at the safe haven of the infield, which is not quite as safe as normal tonight. Procopio and Brown ready to fire. Rodney Rescott looking him over. Green flag is out. Your stock feature is underway. Here in the 2022 of destruction. Down in the turn number one. Chris Brown going to show the way. But she's only going to go over two spot here. Procopio with a nose down on the inside. Down back to the way, thank you, Seven, like you Brown, and Brown, excuse me, Chris Brown leading the way to the West End. Off a turn number four for the first time here. Look at this, three cars scramble for the lead. Hang on, a little while there, Rocco Procopio. Down the here on Saturday night. Off the turn here, Chris Brown. Off the turn, he's down the back track. We need four cars, so close together. Chris Brown leading the way, goes down deep into turn number three. He's going to slide up the hill. Pacini trying to take advantage. Procopio and Denu side by side for the number two spot. Right now, Pacini will lead the lap as Brown runs into trouble and slides back into the fourth spot.
but he's not able to make anything happen, swinging down to the low side. Pacini up the hill now, a little bit out of shape as they work through the west end, and here's Procopio with a good run to the inside of Don Denu for second at the halfway point. 535 to go, wheel to wheel for second. Wild there, but he failed to do it again here in turn two. Here's Marco Procopio. Procopio and Denu with a squeeze job into the outside wall as they went down into turn number three. Rocco Procopio secured the second spot. Didn't do any damage to that right rear tire when he and Denu got together. Got about a car length between him and Machini now. Call it two and three as they went down the back straightaway. Procopio, a faster car than Denu had for the meter, but is he fast enough to catch Machini? Looks like he's doing just that now in turn four as that Cavalry first and second narrows here. Procopio is pouring it on. He knows he's running out of time. Seven laps up on the board here now. Three left to go. Falling down the hill. One more right here. Oh, he's up there in turn number two. Machini gets the wire. Procopio had a nose underneath. He got in the brakes. You see the nose sink as he gets right in between. Turns one and two there. Send it down into turn number three. See if he can't reel in on Pacini. Procopio testing the waters on the outside. Parallel stitch, two laps to go. The race leader to Pacini. Pacini looking good off his front right now. Marciano 
Ricotta. So Scrapper John now at the helm in the Duncan 16 car. He comes off the west end, still leading the way. Got to wait for the tap. Here comes Scrapper John with Rikita Power. Going to lay the tap to his teammate Mike Duncan. The tap is there, and Duncan is off. It's a healthy tap from the double zero of LeClaire to Nick Kimlin. And Kimlin gets going better than it is. Duncan pulling away the ladder out of the truck straight away. Argiano pops the brakes up and piles it for that. And Blake Connery the signal to him that it's time to go. So we're halfway through this first round of the relay race. And Keith Duncan has built up a massive advantage more than half a straightaway right now. Coming out of turn number four, Mike Duncan at the controls, getting ready to lay the wood to car number 16, his teammate Scrapper John. The love tap pop, there it is, and Scrapper John takes off. Going to lay the wood to Brennan McClare, his teammate, there's the tap, and McClare is off. But it is a big lead for Scrapper John and the Duncan race team right now. Here is Connery to let his teammate Matt Marciano know that it is time to go. Coming out of the West End now as they clear. It is Scrapper John getting ready to bring this one to a close. Checkered flag for the first round of the relay race. And it will be an easy victory for the Jensen Duncan team. Mike Duncan and Scrapper John teaming up to take the victory in the first round of relay races. So a brand new event this year with the eve of destruction that drew 20 cars to 10 teams of two. And the first round of it has gone off without a hitch. Here is the first ever eve of destruction relay race. Round one is complete. <laughs> so the winner is moving on to the second round, a little bit of elimination style here with the relay race. Down on the inside, number five, that'll be Brian O'Neill, and his teammate is John Shemmerhorn in the number 12 car. The middle row, we're going to get ready to go, count them down from five once again, ladies and gentlemen, five. Four, three, two, one, and they're off.
to stay on, now number two. John Shemlin is leading the way, Adam's back.
Matt Benwick has pulled in on the back straightaway, so Stracuzzi will not see a tap. This is going to be the battle for round number three right here. Breathing down into the west end of the final time. Spat charging in there hard after Siddeley trying to make a late range comeback. They'll get the checkered flag out of turn number four, and it is going to be Austin Siddeley and Jonathan Slate picking up the win. And it was close. Spat not arriving very much later. But Jonathan Slate in the number 73 and Zach Sitterly in the 44. Going to be out here in round number four. 440 cubic inches of Volkmar power under the hood of Libby Poe's number one car. And that is going to be difficult to overcome. Though heavy, it is fast. Especially on the voice racing surface, Poe is teamed up with Rob Hamill in the four car. Scott Towsley, a pro stock driver down at our sister track, the Albany Saratoga Speedway, up at our sister track, I should say, in the Sayers number one S. And his teammate is Amo Wright. <laughs> Getting ready for the single to count them down, and we are ready one more time, ladies and gentlemen, round number four, five, four, three, Garrison, 
So the Sears Auto Wrecking Team Cars going up against Ruby Bowen and Rob Hamill. And I'm not sure if we'll have a third set of teams or if it's just going to be mono and mono here. And the round of the Ruby Racer for 2022. Looks like we might know we are ready to go. So we're going to need your help one last time, ladies and gentlemen, to count them down from five, four, three, two, one. And they are off. interesting. That was different. <laughs> I know. Right? New for all of us, yes. So as we said earlier, the track preparation is being thrown a curve. With the rain that hit the speedway late this afternoon. And for the precision stunts, obviously precision required, and that is what is a concern for the driver here, Ryan Hogan and you heard it in his voice. Now, normally, this kind of thing, you know, used to do it, but not used to doing it on a slimy racetrack. Flipping it, sliding. Turn number four and gets ready to go. 
through the great wall of cars down here in front in memory of Crash Burrell. Ryan Hogan camp about to put a show on for you, the fans, coming down the back straightaway. Make sure you make some noise. He's going to be able to hear you in turn four. He is coming down to it right now. Ryan Hogan camp getting ready to plow through the great wall of cars. Make some noise in turn four. He can hear you. And here he comes. Looks like Ryan going to take one more shot around and make sure that he can get plenty of speed built up behind that Subaru. Looks like he just waved that off. Thought about it, that he's going to have the inside line he needed, flipping a little bit too much, didn't have the quite speed he needed. He'll try to get it up here on this lap and see what happens. For those of you who came in and wondered what this was about, when you saw these cars stacked over here, well, this is what it's about. Ryan Hogan again. Gonna give it a go now, Marty. up on the ropes, please stand back in your seats so that the folks behind you can see. So, Bill Reed with his green 1986 Chevrolet Custom Deluxe with the 6.2 liter diesel under the hood. Getting ready to face off against the three-quarter ton ram, sir, what is your name? Tracy. Tracy what? Miller. Tracy Miller, uh, what do you say? Uh, you got something for this 36-year-old uh, Chevy behind you? I hope so. We're going to give her an all Scott. Uh, Tracy Miller versus Bill Reed down here in front. Dodge versus Chevrolet. How many people think the Chevy is going to drag the Ram? Yeah! How many people think the notorious black Ram is going to pull the Chevy? Seems like an even keel so far. Getting ready to count them down. We are ready to go from five, four, three, two, one. Round of the truck turn of war. Nothing. Just... <laughs> I 
A new challenger for Tracy Miller, sir. What is your name? Uh, Ryan Dress. Ryan Dress, so uh, tell us a little bit about this truck. Are you gonna drag this ram or what? Uh, yeah, I probably. No problem. Are you thirsty, Ryan? You have a lot of water back there. Uh, I'm just prepared for when the price goes up. There we go. They thought there was a drought. Ryan Grass versus Tracy Miller. GMC versus Dodge. Marty Cole getting ready to paint the line down here in front. And then we'll need your help with the countdown. So there goes the line, and we are, I believe, ready to rock and roll. We'll double check. All right, we're ready, ladies and gentlemen. Five, four, three, two, one, four. We almost had it. We almost had it. <laughs> so round two of the truck tug of water, Ryan Bratz in the GMC. We had three entrants tonight, Ryan. That makes you the big boss here at the tug of war. How about it? Sounds great. Thanks. Coming back next year to do it again? Oh yeah, for sure. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, Ryan Brass, the Truck Target World Champion here at the 2022 Eve of Destruction. Jerma <laughs> Horn and Ryan O'Neill are scheduled starters uh, entrance for this 2022 Hood and Trump race. That's a sheet. More cash on the line for the winners out here as well. Wow, the wacky races. It's not just for a couple, wow. for a couple bucks, too. No? The three laps in strip of distance for the moon and truck race down in front. And a couple of the familiar faces from a couple of the previous events out there. We see. Jonathan Slates, number 73, Adam Spatz, 345, a number of the relay race competitors, Dave Garrison, Trapper John out there, so Brian O'Neill and many more. Scott Towsley up on the front of this one as well, it looks like in the blue and yellow Sayers ride. Just a couple of moments away as we get everybody out there. Hoods are up, trucks are up. You can't see much of anything. I see these guys uh, looking, trying to see through the crack between the hood and the top, or excuse me, I should say the bottom of the windshield. Because that's about the only visibility that they've got. Rodney Rascott at for the flag stand, and we are just about ready to go for the other wild and crazy racing event here in the 2022 Evon Destruction presented by Sayers Auto Wrecking and County Waste. Looks like Rodney's going to position himself down at the front of the field. Wouldn't be good if you waved the green flag for just the back half, back half of the field, right? <laughs> or maybe it would be good on an even destruction. That's an idea. Let's start the second half of the field and forget to tell the front of the field we're great. Ready to count them down again, man? Let's hear you! The five, four, three, two, one! Number one, remember, is a three lap up there. The scramble is on. 
Cowley got a quick lead in a way. I'm looking for Cozy coming after him. Great charge right there to Anthony for Cozy. We did it last night. We gave a couple rides. 
but the condition's the way it is. You can't drive a car on two wheels. You can barely drive it on four wheels, but we're here and it's dry out there, so we're making it work. So uh, just enjoy it, guys. We're so happy to see such a good crowd. Well, despite the rain, Chris Moreno and the crew doing everything possible for you, the fans, here at the Eve of Destruction. Like he said, we've got plenty more. Well, down here on the front straightaway with Ryan Hogan Camp. Once more, Ryan, what do we have coming from Dr. Danger? Well, everybody knows Danger is all about fire. So we're going to have two guys blow up in the truck. They're going to come in the ring of fire. They'll put a little show on for everybody. Out. And then while that's going on, Chris is going to take this truck while it's on fire, come around the track, and hopefully get through the, uh, the camera. Uh, we'll go from there. We're going to have a lot going on at a time, a lot of moving pieces with this one. Are we ready? Yeah, as ready as we're going to be. Going about two minutes. Well, the ring of fire and the camper start all at the same time. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to see it? It's a joint effort between Dr. Danger and Chris Moreno. Getting ready to rock and roll down here front and center. About to set the night alight down here in front. With a ring of fire, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Dr. Danger and the ring of fire. So, uh, no, it worked out very well. I mean, it was slick, but with the dual tires in the back, 
It did fine. This thing was a beast. Plenty of action left to go. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Moreno, Dr. Danger, and the Lebanon Valley Fire Department, ladies and gentlemen. We can't do the show without the firefighters, so pay them a big round of applause down here in front. Lebanon Valley Protective Association coming through in a big way once again this year. With Dr. Danger and Chris Moreno's burning box truck through the camper after the ring of fire. So I came to the That's what happened. Is the reverse race next? You're right. You're right, Bobby. The reverse race is next. I don't even have one of them. There's no one in that truck. You know, you've been doing this a lot longer than I have. It's really not fair. You didn't insult me like that? You're gonna come out here and insult me like that. Well, listen, you're 40, I'm 23. I mean, you got a couple more years behind you. I didn't need that because there's a lady on a microphone back here that tells you what's happening. Well, you hear a lot better than I do. See, I listen. I'm, 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 okay. I'm a good listener. Didn't even realize he was there. I've been told that I don't do that. Yeah. Like, for instance, I listened earlier, and since I showed up on time, barely, I'm still gonna get paid. See, isn't that a good thing? That's the key. Well, you got to get paid. I mean, you're five yeah, hours well, away from home. So. I know. It don't go far. Gallon of gas. I'm <laughs> How much you pay to fill up where you're from? That literally was up around It was 476, I think. Yeah, we're about the same up around here. Let me tell you what, though. I bought my truck four months ago, and a tank of fuel cost me $60. You buy a new truck? Well, it's new to me. Oh. A tank of fuel costs 60 bucks. Okay, to come up here this morning, I filled up the truck and a tank of fuel cost 140 bucks. Yeah. So a full roster ready to go here for the reverse race here in the 2022 edition of the Eve of Destruction. 14 entrants all together. They include Travis Thornton, Nick Kemlin, Brandon LeClaire, Blake Connery, Scott Housley is back for the run here, Trapper Don is as well, Abel Wright is going to do it, Matt Fenwick, Jonathan Slate, Rob Hamble was supposed to be back, Kevin Allison, John Trimmerhorn, Zach Sitterly, and Brian O'Neill. Those are your scheduled entrants here. And 14 scheduled, looks like 12 making the call. First race, get the idea, backward, right as Hot Rod said. Okay. Which one? No, I said which one is he going? And normally, the one? Okay. go around the track. I know, we got, we got to go with the blue ones. Yes, you're going to go clockwise. Oh. Oh, the, oh, wait, he's sure. He's like, oh, it's double zero. Angle forward and reverse, right? Yeah, you got really these. I know, we'll go with double zero. You never know, it's a backwards race. It's, it's chaos. That's three laps. Well, don't worry to go right. Let's see if they go left. Let's count them down from five again. Five, four, three, two, one. Green, 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 he does. He does go left. Oh, He's gonna spin out already here on the opening lap in the front stretch. Who's better at here and driving? Oh, they're not using their mirrors. Oh, we got contact up there in the west end. A couple cars going around. More contact. Three cars together, tagging the load up. And spinning out. He's sorted out, coming out around a quick lap number one. Three laps of here, one lap of the fourth. It's a smoothie car. Looks like he's a master of going backwards. K2, Kevin Allison. That's a cross in second. That's 30 or 03. Going reverse. Yes, it's 03. Trapper Don is going to go reverse. Oh, 
Travis North, running in the third spot with the old three car. So what can you do down here in front? Okay. Come on, Robin. Yeah. Uh-huh. 
the mouth guard is out. Chris Moreno, ladies and gentlemen, let it hear ya. Chris, the bus kind of pirouetted. It looked like it was going to wind up on top of you there for a moment. That must have been uh, a little bit troublesome. Yeah, Barry, it is slick. It's slick over there. No cars have been through there, really. So it's not as bad as down. I got sideways. I knew I had the speed at least to jump over this bus, but I was not lined up uh, correctly. So at least we knocked it down. That was the goal. I'm out here waving to you. That's another goal. So we're going on to the next event, and I'm going to see what I can do by towing this trailer, at least jumping over this bus. But we're not going to go too much farther. We're going to get these cars. I'm going to land in them. So uh, on to the next event. Well, Chris Moreno lucks out on that one. You hear him say he was not lined up, he was not square, and things took a turn yeah, for the curious, to say the absolute least, but he is all right and ready to yeah. keep rocking and rolling. How about it, ladies and gentlemen, one more time for Chris Moreno. <laughs> Knocking over another bus here. At the eve of destruction, and here comes the ramp. Oh boy, the rollover contest. Oh, that's cool. I like the rollover contest. It's kind of neat. Next item of business to take care of right here, front and center. Five, four, three, two, one, roll. Scrapper John taking off in the Honda. Here he goes. Okay. Half a roll. Ten points. Scrapper John upside down. He's out. Let him hear it, ladies and gentlemen. Where else are they rolling cars over for fun on Tuesday night? And the Armstrong crew will uh, try to get the Honda back on all four wheels down here without the requirement of the heavy equipment. Here come the firefighters. They say we are the heavy equipment. And Austin Sitterly back there getting ready to make his approach as well. Let's see if we can't get Scrapper John's ride turned back up on all four wheels. Yeah, well, that's got a, a lot flat of right front tire, but Scrapper John is going to be ready to give it another go, I would imagine. So he'll line up behind Austin Sitterly with 10 points to his credit. And boy, I don't know, Scrapper John is going to have a whale of a time just trying to get that car to go where he wants it to. And that, that may be all she's got. Ready to go with Austin Sitterly from five, four, Yeah, not looking very happy. Nah, the dry shaft is going to go. Hold up. The hook has been called. 
problem. Yeah, he broke the and track. And that's going to do it. So we're all tied up at 10, and that'll be the rollover contest. He broke the dry shaft. But it's how about spoken. it anyway for Scrapper John and for Austin Sitterly? Okay, well, okay then. Tied up. Tied. Event. <laughs> yeah. Actually, no. no. Actually, no. Let me get the Fuzzy Bus. I like that name. I just like the name Fuzzy. Okay, so Jared's got Fuzzy. I've got Spider-Man. You've got whatever the hell you want. And you've got Baby Bus. Wait, is that the one that you want right there? That red one? That's yeah, that's... Oh, uh, sweet cheese? Okay. Uh, okay. The little eye! <laughs> 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 oh, I love the school bus race. This is so good. Let's go away from the drawers as they come by and cheer them on. Set them in. Bus. Bus for Reed, here a little bit further 
further back in the field.
on to a second place finisher, uh, DJ Y. You had it coming on for Kirk there at the end, but uh, you got pinned behind the line bus. Then you hit the ramp there when it was all over. You know, I just want to make a show for the fans. That's what it's all about. Uh, you know, I seen Kurt had it. I wasn't going to get him. So at least make some sort of show out of it, right? Well, I'll tell you what, you certainly did make a show out of it. And uh, we're used to you making a show out of it here at the High Banks on a more regular basis going back a couple of years. I ask you this every year, when are you coming back? Uh, it's getting closer and closer every year, so we'll have to see soon. Well, how about that, ladies and gentlemen, DJ Faulkner, second place tonight in the bus race, talking about maybe coming back to stock car racing here at Lebanon Valley sometime soon. Well, DJ certainly agrees with Speedway. Right. And you know the deal. When he comes out of turn number four, he's going to be able to hear you all the way down the front straightaway. Up and over the most stunts entertainment ramp. Over the Green Mama bus, over the Eve Knockdown bus, and a pile of five or six cars over there as well. How far will he go? We're about to find out. Will he make the approach now? Indeed he will. Ladies and gentlemen, let him hear you. Here he comes. Chris Moreno with the trailer, with the Buick, with Big Air here. trailer long jump skating across the buses coming to rest here how about it i gotta tell you you probably heard my throttle just in and out because my the rear end of the car was going sideways i'm sure the trailer was going to the other way and uh, i was about lining up so we definitely went straighter on that jump than i did on the previous they lined up the cars great safety's number one we got some stunts done dr danger's coming up to blow up the outhouse but man, what a night. I feel like I've been there for four hours already doing some stuff. But I heard you guys the whole way. This is amazing. The weather held out. What a great local crew. I've been here for, you know, six years. Track helps amazing. The local people are amazing around this area. I'm from Rockland County, two hours south. I'm a fellow New Yorker. It's great performing here. I can't wait to see you next year. We're going to blow this away. It's going to be dry. We're going to go further and faster. How about it, ladies and gentlemen? Chris. Morena says 2023, I'll be back. We're going to go further. We're going to go faster. And you know he's excited. He is tucking it out down here. But Chris Morena with the trailer long jump gets it done here tonight at the eve of destruction. Dr. Danger about to blow up the porta john down here in front. And then make his way out to be put out. I noticed that outhouse hanging out here all night. Noticed it broke a little bit. Didn't really notice that everybody was going in and out of it. But now we have a reason. <laughs> oh, it is. Never mind. You guys are. <laughs> Dr. Danger will make a trip to the outhouse. Okay. Burning down the house out here in front, ladies and gentlemen, before Dr. Danger enters the outhouse of flame, please give it up, ladies and gentlemen, for Dr. Danger, let him hear you right now. He can hear you down in front before he sets foot inside. And there he goes, ladies and gentlemen. Dr. Danger disappears inside the outhouse. He can still hear you in there, so make some noise. And don't stop. Keep the noise coming for Dr. Danger. They're going to light him up. Inside the port john Dr. Danger... And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. 
and gentlemen, one more time before we get going, let them hear you. They're getting ready to go. Here we go, Dr. Danger in the Portageon. I hope he's done in there. Doctor, how about it? Hey, you know what? Uh, we all came here on a really special day today. Tomorrow is Howard Commander's birthday. And then I, the Eve of Destruction, Mike Duncan, Christian Schlinder, Matt Fenwick, Anthony Stracuzzi, Ribby Poe, Adam Gray, and Brian O'Neill. They've all been out here in action earlier. This one a little bit different now with the trailer attached. And this is again where anything can happen here. The uh, trailer basically gets piglet and waggling. So let's see what kind of mayhem can be caused here. It's got probably the empty boat trailer at the back. He appears to be a late addition because he's not on our initial entry list here. for eight laps. That's the distance. We'll see how it goes. I think I know why they put the, that number one in the back, because that's a fast car. Yeah. Congratulations to Mary from Massachusetts. Mary from North Adams, Massachusetts, for winning at tonight's 50-50 and a $3,362 in cash that goes along with it. Pretty sweet way. Make the summer of 2022 spectacular. Hitting the 50 50. Congratulations. You win. You win. to have more shots at Big Cash. Be with us every Saturday night. Do it every Saturday night. Big 50 50 giveaways here at the Speedway. That's reason alone to come on out, let me tell you. Party here every Saturday night. Find different ways to have fun. Make that 
bit and spiring a little bit, but she's still going. <laughs> uh, plenty of power under the hood of this boat car. Uh, how much fun is it to roll around this place at speeds like this in this old boat? It's, it's awesome, yeah. <laughs> but you, you told me you're thinking about putting a small block in and bringing it back here for uh, running as a pure stock. What do you think about that? Are we ever going to see it? Yeah, yeah that might be the, my, the younger generation here, yeah. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe seeing a whole lot more of this car sometime soon. It's uh, really fun with the whole family down here in Victor Lane, Ross. Congratulations. The demolition is five, four, Jonathan 
sling still running, but for how much longer in the Subaru that's begging him to stop? O'Neill is still running. Here comes Spencer John with a big hit the passenger side door of Travis Gordon. Slate way out in Netherlands land. They're trying to bring it back to the party. And there's Connery backing into Snapper John. Connery in that maroon car. Snapper John in the Grand Caravan. Brian O'Neill on fire underneath that car. And number five. And O'Neill may be done. And Slate may be done. And there's a fire that's going to bring things to stop for the moment. Give it a roll that he's been idle for a good couple of minutes. Scrapper John in the Grand Caravan. Blake Connery in the number 21. And Matt Marciata in the 50. Getting ready to go from 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we're back on their way. A big hit. Marciata trying to get rolling. But it would not go. Matt Marciata in trouble. Connery will settle it between himself and Scrapper John. They continue to pop and bang. Scrapper John headed for the inside wall. Connery's got him trapped. He lets it go. Marciata still praying for a miracle inside the 50. still runs, but the car won't go, and Marciata says no, he's done. So there you go, it's between Connery and Strapper John. Marciata throws the towel in, it's head to head right now. Connery and Strapper John out here in front. Blake Connery in the Scrap Daddy Auto Recycling, RC Sign s and Roofing, Mid Dream Montego. Strapper John in the Grand Caravan from Sales Auto Wrecking. A big hit. Head up. The airbag off in Scrapper John's caravan. Still running. Connery is still running. Scrapper John. It's got nothing. That's it. Blake Connery. Blake Connery wins it. Between these two gentlemen, Ray Connery wins it. How about it? Let's get a quick word. Logan Hatch, what a battle right to the bitter end between you and Blake. Yeah, this is my first time ever. I'm not going to get Go on ball with that. Well, you certainly did that, Logan. First time ever in the demo, and he gets second place, ladies and gentlemen. Logan Hatch will get a word with Blake Connery as well, winning the final event of the night, coming out through the front windscreen. Blake Connery. Blake. What a battle that was. I just talked to Logan. I mean, that was nuts. Tell me about it. Uh, also, my first time ever doing this shit. Uh, stop. So, <laughs> I had a blast. It was awesome. Awesome. Well, how about it? You coming back next year to do it all again? Definitely. Definitely. Blake Connery, ladies and gentlemen, your Demolition Derby winner. Tonight, putting the cap on the 2022 Eve of Destruction, presented by Sayers Auto Wrecking and Kelly Williams.
Right. 